Hi, welcome to VCC TV. The banking sector has seen a considerable change after the granting of payment bank license. Today we have with us MD and CEO of Finno Paytech, Mr. Rishi Gupta, to discuss more about the recent uh, payment license and more. Let's talk about the payment bank's license first. Congratulations for that. Thank you. Uh, what will, what will be the, your strategy going ahead? Uh, so I would say it is a uh, little early days to talk about strategy per se, but when we look at the DNA of, of all the lessons which have been issued, so there are some 11 of them which have been issued and those 11s are in, I would say many of them in telcos, many of them are in the NBFC segment. We are in the BC segment per se. So our strength has been to set up a rural infrastructure, to uh, set a, our strength has been in terms of handling the customers on the ground uh, to the mass market and the underbanked, unbanked segment. So this is a segment which we will be working on and uh, this is the DNA of a company uh, and the DNA of the company is actually to work for mass market, to work in physical outlets, to work in rural India, to set up a network through agents and uh, some of our own branches uh, like we know Money Mart which we have set up in urban and some in rural areas. So our strategy would be to continue to work on uh, which we have been working on in the past and to go and I think go much deeper uh, I would say. We have seen super normal profits in the sector. Is that rate of growth sustainable? Super normal profit in which sector? Uh, in the financial sector as such. So no, I would, I would uh, not agree with you on this. I, I would say the payment uh, ecosystem which has to get created and if we really go by the spirit of the guidelines, it is more on the financially excluded people and I am sure a ecosystem for a digital ecosystem will also get created within the payment uh, bank uh, framework. Uh, I do not think so, there is extra normal profits one would uh, look at when they look at this segment, but it is a more of a drive for the next 3 to 5 years where you will see uh, many of those payment uh, ecosystem which we are not creating mushrooming into much bigger setups and uh, we have uh, 700, 800 million people who are not digitally included or for whom uh, the payments bank will actually become a roadmap through which those people can come under banking and our experience has been that everybody needs uh, banking, everybody needs uh, products, everybody needs those choices. So those choice was not there with the consumer uh, till about uh, recently but with this new ecosystem which is getting created I am sure the choices will be with the customer. Why should a customer just because he is not digitally included should be deprived of any choices. So we, I think the payment ecosystem uh, which will get created through the payments bank will remove that problem or the hurdle so to say. And uh, how uh, contended are you with the governments and the RBI's efforts to help uh, the unbanked? No, no I think a uh, lot of work has happened. When I go, go back 9 years when FINO was formed, when the original BC guidelines came and then the government kept on or the RBI kept on changing those guidelines to suit the uh, to suit the uh, penetration of the people. Then we saw the RBI coming out with uh, monitoring matrices, uh, in which they said that we'll monitor how much performance uh, is there. And then the Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana, which has now come up with in the last one year, which has opened 15 crore accounts uh, per se. So I would say most of the country have uh, bank accounts now. Uh, that is my belief. What we need to work on is the next level. The next level is to provide access to those accounts where they can do transactions, where the payment bank would play a definitely a big role and then to see uh, more transactions happening on those accounts and third is when I would say the final proof of the pudding would be when we look at inclusive agenda is when multiple products are sold to those customers uh, over the period of time because from account opening to transactions to more high, heavy value transaction then to products, this is a journey which uh, we have to do, we are I would say we are in the first part of the first journey. So there are many journeys we have to do, so it is going to be a very interesting and a, I would say a very enriching journey in the next uh, 4 to 5 years at least. Uh, you have been uh, a market leader as far as digitizing uh, financial yes. inclusion is concerned, but uh, compared to others who are within the sector and have got payment bank licenses, your base has been a bit narrow. How do you plan to compete with the likes of post bank? or for that matter uh, other Tebidla group? So uh, I would not like to comment on each uh, one of them individually, but I would say every, every company has their DNA, every company has their niches. So those 11, uh, 11 companies who have got licenses will come out with different models uh, so to say and every based on their own strength, based on their own DNA will come up with a model 
uh, which one would say is good for them. Many of them have already they have captive customers, mm -hmm. so they might come up with a model where they would like to do more with the with the captive customers. We also have uh, a lot of captive customers which we can target and uh, try to do banking uh, for them. So, uh, so every company based on their DNA will come out uh, with with their own model. I would not say it is a narrow model when you talk about you know we are there in almost say 80,000 villages and we are there with with feet on street. So, uh, which are completely controlled and owned by you know compared to many of the other players who are more in a distributor led model where the control is not with them it is with the distributor. So, to that extent uh, Fino uh, plays a bigger role in terms of covering up those areas through their own channel. Uh, we have 3000 plus employees in the company who are there on the field to service those customers. ICICI already has a stake in Fino. Yes. Uh, are you looking at being business correspondent for any other bank or any other associations going forward? So, we, we are already business correspondent for I would say almost all the banks in, in the system I, mean, I would say about 10 15 of them who are there. So, we will continue to uh, go that path uh, uh, because that is something which is allowed by the guidelines. So, we do not uh, see that to be a challenge we continue to do that business. We continue to do deeper relationships uh, with many banks ICICI bank is uh, is one of uh, the investors in Fino and we are also one of the large business correspondent for the bank. Uh, BlackRock and Intel cap just exited uh, are planning to make an exit from the Fino uh, paytech because of the uh, RBI norm the 49 percent holding uh, how are you planning to fill the void? No uh, this is too it is a very premature to comment on that as per the RBI guidelines uh, we have to be a domestic company. So, we are in the process of uh, becoming a domestic company and there is no specific investor who would uh, who is looking at an exit we will have to work it out uh, with the investor, but these are very early days we will have to spend some more time in uh, in resolving that. To the last question. Uh, technology has changed the financial services sector a lot. Yeah. What more can we see in terms of technology and what more innovation can happen as far as fintech is concerned? See I would say the consumer uh, will demand and uh, consumer uh, will like to get service based on the inconvenience at their cost and the banks would look at how much risk they are carrying on the books. So, uh, looking at that technology plays a very very important role because you can reach the consumer very very easily and uh, you can do micro transactions uh, for them. So, I would say technology will continue to be the disruptor and we will see many other things uh, like an NFC thing which would come up. I would say uh, there will be migration on technologies on each of the segment uh, could be people who are very very digitally advanced you would see them moving to an NFC on a contactless uh, basis. People who are, who are not on smartphones would move to a smartphone. So, app based developments will happen. But all in all I would say uh, I do not see uh, a very long path where people will in some form or manner not get touched by technology. Even in our own BCA business we have developed applications our entire lending business per se works on a mobile uh, uh, application. We have developed wallets for our uh, people. So, I do not see anybody who will not be touched by a digital uh, world it is just a matter of time and I think the, the saturation will happen. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot for Thank your time. Thank you. And congratulations much. once Thank again. Thank you. Thanks a lot.